happy to. Hello, people. It's Velocicular13 again. Well, today I'm going to review Avatar The Last Airbender. But before I do that, I have to mention, you know Anime 1 and 2 Dog Lover 1? She's been seriously pissing me off. She keeps telling me that my reviews won't do so well. What if she's right? What if she's wrong? I don't care. I'm only doing this for freaking fun. Now, I'm only... I may be promoting her videos. You know, like, Itachi gets a job. Mission for the Zombies Parts 1 and 2. Arrgh! She's always pissing me off. Keep telling me that I can't do this. Well, I want to tell her to just stop it. And that I don't mean to get her annoyed by my reviews, since I'm critical. I just want to tell her to just leave me alone, be okay with it like I'm okay with her videos. Oh, and not to mention, I'm in a few of them. Fact, whoa, 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 whoa! No, wait! Stop! <laughs> I also have to mention that I'm a fan of Nostalgia Critic from that weird Wawa thing. Whoa, whoa! Shut up! And I'm a fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd. He curses a lot. So, now, back to the subject. So, I'll just give you the basic plot of Avatar The Last Airbender, for those who don't know about it. There are two people from the Water Tribe who, who, who find the Avatar, who is an arrow-headed kid, trapped in an iceberg. Then they decide to take him all around the world, just to learn all four elements since he's the Avatar. To stop the Fire Lord from taking over the world. That's simple enough. Now, of course, he does learn them all, and he, and not to mention, he actually vis visited all four air temples. North, south, east, sorry, west. So... Um... Oh yeah, and in Avatar, unless you already know this and watch the show like I do, there are a whole bunch of these weird mixture, mi mixed hybrid animals. Like, oh, I don't know what Momo's a mix of, probably a bat, because in the movie The Last Airbender, he was called a lemur bat, but in the show, he's just referred to as a flying really? lemur. Um, and there's Appa, the flying bison, who in my opinion has a beaver's tail with fur covering it. And there's also stuff like Sabertooth Moose Lion, Cat Gator, Canyon Crawler, which is a mix between a spider and a crocodile. Weird mix. Mm -hmm. Oh, and did I mention that all of the animals are voiced by Dee Bradley Baker? He, Dee Bradley Baker also voiced Lady Rainicorn in Adventure Time, but just a pilot episode. <clears throat> she was later voiced by someone else, a woman, in the series. It makes more sense. Oh, yeah, and the villains, of course, there's Fire Lord Ozai, who is the main antagonist. Oh, well, Zuko used to be a villain, but he decided to help Aang learn firebending. And, um, oh, there's Azula, voiced by Great Lyle. At least I think that's how you pronounce her name. Oh, did I mention that she was voiced by Mandy from Billy and Mandy? And Vicky from Fairly Odd Parents? Yeah, I think Grey is very famous for that. What was that? I thought I heard these weird noises. Plus, Azula's actually pretty creepy. She's like, she's like the Angelica of the series. Like, um, plus in the last episode she was going insane. She saw a hallucination of her mother, and, um, she's like, ah! 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 Oh yeah, Great Lyle, who's the voice of Azula, also voices R.C., the pink motorcycle from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. 
She only had one single line. Annoyingly, what was the use of adding new robots to Revenge of the Fallen if they don't get any dialogue? Well, I'm not going to change the subject here. So, um... Well... Oh yeah, I must say that Sokka's comedy is pretty funny, but of course he does mature as the series progresses, just as everyone else does. Except Ozai. Ozai's a douche. In fact, he's the worst father in history. Well, let's see. He burned Zuko. Um, he banished him for like three years. He banished his mother. And he decided to take over the world. I have to say that... Why did the Fire Nation become so cruel all of a sudden? Like, I know that Fire Lord Sozin wanted to expand his rule just to share prosperity and riches to the rest of the elf, to the world, but he took it too far. So... Alright, plus, um, my brother told me that he heard Someone at a theater, since he went to go see The Last Airbender, not me, he, s he heard a stupid question like, WHERE'S THE EARTHBENDER?! Well, The Last Airbender, as you may know, is obviously from the commercials based off of Book 1. Toph didn't appear until Book 2. So, yeah, you fans obviously know that. I'm not much of an Avatar fan, but the series is good. So, um, I have a rating for shows or movies I review. First, there's excellent, then there's good, then okay, and then there's bad, then horrible, and then there's bullcrap. Total bullcrap. I rate this show as good. In fact, more than good, it's excellent. Oh, I forgot to mention, as my associate has tr told me, that Avatar The Last Airbender is going to get a spin-off show, even though it already ended. It's going to happen in, like, 2011. And it'll have the same creators, Mike DiMartino and that other guy. But the none of the original cast is going to be in it. That's the only complaint I might have about it. It's going to be about a completely new character. It's going to be called Avatar The Legend of Korra. So, you Avatar fans, be, be excited, drink as much pop as you want, and I'm sure I'll be excited too. Although, still, the original cast won't be in it. Why couldn't there be, like, an epilogue? You know, like, at, at, in the last episode when Zuko became Fire Lord, he asked his mean, horrible, douchebag of a father, Where is my mother? And they stopped. They stop. They stop. They just ended their conversation after that. They they don't tell. They don't tell us where. Where in the heck is her mo is? Sorry, is his mother? Will Zuko ever find her? Is she alive? Is she dead? Is she in hiding? So there you have it. I have reviewed Avatar The Last Airbender for you. I am Velocikiller13, and don't you forget it. See you around.